Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I've had this idea in my head the other night to make a Christmas macrame bauble and I kind of thought I had the technique in my head for how to make it. So the next morning I made it and it turned out really cute I think. So I shared it on my Instagram, you guys all loved it. So this is everything that you'll need. You need one lot of 110 centimeter length of cord, seven times 80 centimeter lengths of cord, Need two lots of 60 centimetre lengths. One lot of 20 centimetre cord, so this is going to create the hanging string here. Some jewellery pliers, these are optional but I'll have them linked in the description box. This is also optional, fabric glue, again linked in the description box. And of course you'll need some scissors. So let's get started. So I'm just moving everything out of the way and leaving my 110 centimetre length of cord and with this we're going to take one end so you see I've got the small end on the right and then we're going to just curl it around like this and then lay it on top of the cord so it creates this loop. So you have a very small tail at the right here, just a small little cord. We're going to grab four of our 80 centimetre lengths of cord and we're going to attach it using a lux head knot. So take the cord, split it in half and then take the midway point, you lay it on top and go over and through the loop like this and then it'll go underneath and then you pass two cords through the loop there. So make sure it's done on this part of the loop where the cords are doubled over. Just like that and then go ahead and attach the other three cords in the exact same way using the Lark's head knot. You can see I've got my Christmassy nails on, although they're kind of more of a burgundy colour than red, but anyway. So we've got four attached now, so then you've got the little tail there, so with this longer tail here we're just going to hold the knots and we're going to pull on that cord and you'll see the loop will start to close and then it will curl all the cords around and create this really pretty circle. And that is going to be the base of our macrame bubble. So with that small tail you can just tuck that out the way for now, we don't need that but it will be hidden inside the bauble. So I'm just going to lay all the cords out as flat as I can. And then I'm going to take this long cord and that's going to be the cord that will wrap all the knots around. I'm taking the long cord and I'm laying it over the cord, next cord available like this. So we're going clockwise and we're going to create double clove hitch knots. So the next cord here from the Lark's head knot, we're going to bring it up and over like this and then through the loop and then just pull that to the top and then just repeat that on the exact same cord, so up, over, behind and then through the knot and then that's one double clove hitch knot and that is what we're going to use to create all of the bauble. So now I'm taking the next cord available and doing the exact same thing, making the double clove hitch knot, remembering to repeat it twice with that cord. So now you can see we've come to a part where there's a big gap and we can't really pull the next cord across, so what we need to do is add on a cord. I'm grabbing one of my 80 centimetre lengths and I'm going to attach it in a reverse Lux head knot, sometimes called a cow hitch knot. So it's the exact same process, you're just doing it backwards. So instead of laying the loop on top, you're going to lay it underneath your cord and then pass those two cords through the loop just like that and then pull that tight and slide it to the top and you'll see it will just blend right in with the double clove hitch knot and then we can just move on to the next cords create that double clove hitch knot so we'll need to do this every time we come to a gap So here you can see I've come to another gap, so I'm just attaching one more of the 80 centimetre lengths of cord and attaching it in the exact same way as that reverse Lux head knot that I just showed you and then carrying on as normal. So here you can see I've come to another gap, so I'm adding on one more length of the 80 centimetre length of cord. And then again just carry on as normal. So you can see the base is really starting to form now. Actually I think this becomes the top of the bauble. 
So I've come to my next gap now, so I'm going to add on one of the 60cm lengths of cord because we should have run out of the 80cm by now. And again, just carrying on as normal. And then I'm just adding on my last 60cm length of cord when I come to my next gap. And then that should be all the cords that you need to add on for this because we will start to decrease the bauble once it gets to the end. So now that we've done a couple of rows of it being flat just to create the base at the top, we're going to create this rounded part. So in order to do that, instead of having the knots go side by side, we're going to slightly angle our long cord so it starts building the knots on top of the rows. It's a bit difficult to see but you'll kind of get the hang of it. So as you can see I'm just pulling the cord up slightly so the knots will start building on top of each other and it will start creating this really cute little bowl. So this is also the base that you would create a macrame coaster which I can easily make a video for you as well, show you how to do that. So once you get the hang of that just continue it for a few rows until you get halfway point of the ball ball. So I've probably done about five rows here, just like this. So you can leave this textured a bit on the outside if you want, but I like to have the lines on the outside. So what we need to do now is just push it inside out. So it's really easy to do that, just push it from the centre and flip it inside out, just so that all our nice lines are on the outside. And now we just create the knots in a slightly different angle. So again, I've got my long cord here in my left hand. And then I'm taking the next cord available and again we're going to bring it up and over like this behind and through the loop. So it's the exact same process, it's just a bit different because it's not laying flat. So I'm just going to carry on like this making sure that the knots are going on top of one another just like this and then we'll start to decrease the amount of knots that we do to round off the bauble. So now that we can decrease the knot, what I'm going to do is push one cord inside of the bauble and take the next cord and make a double clove hitch knot. And then I'm going to skip the next cord and push that inside the bauble and then again take the next cord and create a double knot. So just keep doing this and skipping out one cord and then making the knot, skipping out the next. And by doing this it will decrease the amount of knots so it will start getting a smaller circle and also it will fill up the bauble nicely so it won't collapse in or anything. As you can see if you wanted to have a tassel like this one I'm about to show you you would just leave a few cords hanging out like this and then just tie a knot around them with that longer cord and then just comb them out if you wanted to create that one but for this video I'm going to show you how to create a nice rounded bauble without a tassel so again I'm still doing the same thing so I'm skipping one cord and then creating a knot until I've got to the last cord like this I'm just going to take my jewelry pliers and push it inside of the bauble so all that we're left with now is the leftover from the long cord. I'm just going to snip that to about 2cm and push the rest inside of the bauble and that will create this nice rounded bauble. I have to count how many times I say bauble in this video because it's an awful lot. <laughs> so optional, I'm just going to put a dab of glue inside of where I just pushed that last cord just to hold all the cords in place and make sure they don't stick out. So as you can see it's a nice round bauble and all the lines are on the outside and I think it creates a really nice textured look. And now we're going to take our 20cm length of cord and we're going to create the hanging knot. So I'm taking my 20cm length of cord and I'm just going to fold it in half and then I'm going to just tie a knot on the end, just like this, just a basic simple knot. The knot will be hidden inside of the bauble anyway, so it doesn't need to be really neat. So what I find easiest to do is, normally where you have had to add on cords here, you can see there's a gap. So I'm going to go through the middle with my jewellery pliers, and then through one of those gaps, and I'm just going to pull the loop of the knot through. And then with my jewellery pliers, I'm just going to push the knot inside of the bauble, make sure it's nice and hidden. And then you have this really neat hanging cord from the top that looks like it was just built into the bauble. 
So then I'm just going to close that slight gap there with some of my fabric glue so it's not as noticeable and that will also help secure that hanging cord in place. And that's it, so now you can just wait for it to dry and that's the macrame bauble finished. So it's super easy once you get the hang of it, you can definitely just sit back and watch some Netflix or something, which is what I done while making this. So which one do you prefer? Do you prefer the one with the tassel or the one without? Because I really can't pick. And I think I'm going to make them and sell them as sets of six on my Etsy shop, so I might do three tasseled ones and three non-tasseled ones. But anyway, I think this would make a really nice gift for friends and family, or a secret Santa or stocking filler. And you could definitely make this out of two different colours as well, which I think would look really nice and maybe even do the hanging cord in a different colour or you could glue on some decorations like stars or little jingle bells. I think the opportunities are endless and I really love how it turned out and I hope you do too. So I'll have my Christmas macrame playlist linked here because I have quite a few tutorials on there now and of course this one will be added to it but I really think you can create a really pretty tree decorations using different macrame projects. So if you do make these, please be sure to tag me on Instagram at LunarCraftOnline because I'd really love to see them and share them with everyone. And if you could subscribe, like or comment, that'd really help me out and make my day. And I hope you have a lovely week. Bye. <laughs>